Another episode of um, our Learning Lunation series, this time for our new moon in Leo. That's happening on July the 28th at 12.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Um, it's third, this coming up Thursday, um, and that's the peak time for, um, again, Central Daylight Time in, in North America uh, area. Um, this new moon in Leo is a time to celebrate life and live with passion. Uh, the energy is generous, fun, magnanimous. Uh, it is a fire element sign. And the ruling planet is the sun, which is the planetary body that is connected to creativity. Our key words are courage, creativity, drama, generosity, persuasion, and strength. And a little quote from, uh, from Oprah. The more we praise and celebrate our lives, the more we have to praise and celebrate. Good time for flirting. Uh, good time to enjoy a romantic evening. Uh, take somebody out, wine and dine them, even if it's just a friend, just because you can. Follow your heart. Let passion be your muse. And spend some time being creative. Get back in touch with that part of yourself. And that's whatever creativity means to you, whether you draw or paint or garden or build models or play with lego or uh if you're like me and you're a spreadsheet nerd do you up a spreadsheet <laughs> whatever takes you to your happy place and uh and showcases your talents uh and the things that you create during the leo moon are channeled from source from the universe from divine so devote some time during this lunation to your favorite hobbies and activities. Give yourself a chance to lighten up. Take some time to love yourself. Get back in touch with what's awesome about being you. Um, it's a good time to pay it forward. Be giving. Open up your heart. And remember that love in its purest form, is unconditional love, um pure genuine love it's never arrogant uh, this is also a good time to work on your confidence and your leadership skills uh, take some time to spoil yourself and then spoil somebody that you love indulge and take time uh, for things that are bring you pleasure and be unapod unapologetically you. You do your thing at the beat of your own drum and you be the best you you can be. Uh, you've got a lot to offer the world, right? And you don't get prizes for hiding your light. So let it shine, let it ripple, let it touch touch folks that you may not even know that you're touching some crystals for our new moon in leo uh dan bright it captures the energy of the sun it encourages you to live in the moment and enjoy life it pushes you to share your own light through creative expression it allows you to create from a place of authenticity and higher consciousness. Your fire agate, it resonates with the fire element. It encourages you to find new ways to express romantic feelings or passion. Creativity and spontaneity uh, will be re well received by partners. 
and can help you to uh, make a grand gesture to show your feelings. Uh, our golden tiger's eye embodies confidence and inner strength. It's useful when diving into your hobbies and favorite activities. And it really, during this Leo uh, moon season, is uh, going to encourage you to do more of what you love. A uh, little ritual or ceremony idea for you uh, during this new moon in Leo. Take your Danbarite crystal under the light of the Leo moon so it can absorb the creativity and the passionate energy. Then take some time out for your creative expression. Um, go through a, a, a meditative process. Hold the Danbarite over your sacral chakra for about a minute, taking some nice deep cleansing breaths. Then you're going to repeat that with your solar plexus chakra and then again with your heart chakra. And when you're done, send gratitude to the stone for the energy that it shared with you. Now, one thing I did come across uh, in addition to our new moon in Leo. Oh, and that reminds me, uh, we will be doing... Um, for the Lionsgate portal on 8-8, which actually starts on July the 26th and goes through, I believe it's August the 12th. Um, so we've got that on top of the ending of the 7-7 portal. And then the um, there's also this Delta Aquarids meteor shower. Uh, Aquarids because it originates from um, the constellation Aquarius. Uh, so this Delta Aquarius meteor shower, it's an uh, annual thing generally between July the 12th and August the 23rd. And the peak this year is at the same time as our new moon in Leo. So this 28th into the 29th. Um, should be a good year to see it. Now, the Southern Hemisphere generally has the best views, but while the um, meteor shower originates from the Aquarius constellation, you really can't see the meteors and the meteor shower from anywhere, depending, you know, they, they have their own rules, right? So the darker skies should uh, should help with um, being able to witness the, the meteor shower. Um, and it's the type of storm that's created by the debris left behind by comets. In this particular case, it's the comets Marsden and Cracked. So our Delta Aquarid is essentially... 2,000 or 20,000 year old dust and debris that has drifted from the comets and the meteors um, and this that come from what they call a complex of celestial items and bodies and whatnot that all come from the same origin. So in this case, originating from this uh, Aquarius constellation you have like eight meteor showers two comet groups and at least one asteroid so lots of stuff out there uh that that's floating around and happening and, and uh and then this delta aquarium is in the 11th house which is ruled by saturn um that's our moral obligations and authority it's also associated with higher states of consciousness. Um, and there is some significance to comets, right? They're made of ice and dust and gases. And in many ways, they represent our collective fears and those frozen emotions that are now surfacing for us to see and heal. Because we cannot heal what we don't know is in need of healing. Um, so anything that's been previously ignored or suppressed 
you can't deny it any longer. It's you can't deflect it anymore. There's no more room under the carpet to sweep anything. Um, and so we have to start looking at ourselves and our 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 humanity, our society, culture, our our planet, ourselves, our lives, all of it from, uh, you know, we need to be open to the reality, the objective reality of, of the goings on so that we know how to face it and we know how to um, combat uh, the, the forces that, that work against us. Um, and so your meteor showers stem from the cosmos, from a place and time uh, that humanity cannot see. We can't physically touch it. But with our faith and our belief and our imagination, we can connect to what's there, what's really there, the energy that resides in that acquired area. And while we may not be able to touch this place with our hands, while we can't physically interact with it, we can see them with our heart. You know, that energy that we have. And, and you know, think of this too. This is most meteors. Most meteors. This is the... the, the Meteor showers you see across the, the, the sky, right? Most meteors are no larger than a grain of salt or a grain of sand. You know, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, and then, then we're asked to tap into our inner compass to see beyond what our physical senses can communicate to us, um, to tap into a reality that only exists when we trust it and believe in it. Uh, for that, I was thinking of, um, in Harry Potter, uh, they had the room of requirement that was there that had everything that they needed whenever the need arose um, so the cosmos meteors uh, you know they they allow us to tap into that where like with andrea's dream meetups where we can all come together uh, in a space and time and dimension that we um we don't fully understand and but but we know it's there and we know that that we can find our friends there um we can find the things that we need uh so yeah spiritual insights wisdom that's gained from looking deep within the shadows of both ourselves and our world. Uh, this is an invitation to create new ideas and beliefs. Uh, this meteor shower can uh, bring about little bursts of aha moments for you. Uh, may provide gifts from the universe. The best way to proceed is to lead and teach by example. You know, share with others, be the example of faith and love. You can only be the light when you become the candle. I uh, did find a meteor shower ritual ceremony idea to share with you guys. Uh, and this is particularly good if you have an opportunity to watch the meteor showers. Um, can take advantage of that energy with a, a bit of a meditation. So you can choose your favorite third eye chakra stone, which are going to be more your sort of blues and purples, um, something like a lapis lazuli, 
sodalite, amethyst, blue kyanite, or um, a fluorite, a blue or purple fluorite. So relax and get comfortable. Do some deep breathing. And then close your eyes and turn inward. Imagine and relive the experience of watching those meteors, of seeing those meteor showers. But imagine it through your third eye. And then the question that you want to meditate on, what does seeing this unique cosmic event help me remember about myself? Again, that's what does seeing this unique cosmic event help me remember about myself? And then allow the intuition to rise from within. And trust what you sense to be the answer. Thank the universe for the experience, for the message. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and take a few deep cleansing breaths. And sit with your crystal for a little bit longer. Realize and recognize and remember that that experience, that watching the meteor shower through your third eye with this crystal with this stone has now encoded that experience onto this crystal for you and so anytime you want to reconnect with the universe with divine wisdom with that experience and the feelings it brought for you you can repeat this meditative ritual tap her right back in all right folks that wraps it up for this edition of our learning lunations series i appreciate you for joining me we'll be back in the next two weeks for the uh, next full moon and as far as i know we'll have the gang back together so andrea of lilac lantern jen's world tarot and sonia rain lee uh, please and thank you share all the subscriber love with them and uh, of course we do appreciate those uh, thumbs ups and uh, likes and shares and all the in things my neighbor's home, thank you for joining me and I'm we'll, uh, we'll see you next shine, time let it shine let it shine let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little